Well, hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Blockhead server here. Today, it's episode 34, and we are trudging forward with our sort of nobles upper class area here. I'm thinking about building another house. Another one right here. I've got a cool design for a house that's similar to these, but it's going to be different. So I kind of want each, um, each house up here to be custom made and bespoke, as they say, or uh, unique, individual whatever. But you might notice something here. Last episode, what we did is I left off by terraforming this area. It is now flat. You probably saw that if you watched the last episode. But what you didn't see is I had kind of like a bowl shape right in here that kind of led us down step by step down to uh, this lower area down here. And what I decided to do was I decided to level off the top all the way to here, uh, just like this. And then now we have kind of like a staircase here. Uh, the stairs aren't completely done, as you can see. But I did do all the terraforming. And it's actually solid. Like, I filled it full of diorite and granite <laughs> so that um, I could use up some of those blocks that we had just kind of laying around in some chests that I found. And also, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted it solid. That way, if I did want to, like, you know, dig out a pond or something here and there, um, that I wasn't having to deal with the uh, fact that it was you know, open underneath and then mob spawning and everything. So I decided to just fill it in. And I really like the way this looks. So now the pathway is going to come up here. It's going to come this way and then around here to get to kind of this path, this major pathway that goes towards the castle and in front of the build that we did last time and then over to the build, um, the other manor house that uh, we have over here. So I'm pretty happy about it. I'm pretty happy. Uh, Etzmine was on the server earlier, and he was making fun of my trees. He was making fun of my trees. You guys, he was making fun of my trees. He said, my trees are too small. Too small, the trees are. He says, your trees, Hex, are too small. Too small, my trees. Okay, he's kind of right. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know, maybe we'll make some bigger trees later. But he's kind of right that these trees sort of look a little bit small um, near the house here. But you know what? Um, they're a lot bigger than the Minecraft trees, the regular generating ones. So I like them for now. Um, I'm going to have to build like a giant freaking tree <laughs> by his uh, <laughs> villager breeder or something <laughs> to get back at him for that. There's got to be a prank in there with a giant tree. Um, yeah, so... We're going to be doing that later. <laughs> Probably, maybe not in this episode, but if I, if I figure out like a good place to put it, <laughs> I'm going to make a giant freaking tree. <laughs> All right. Well, I've got kind of a layout here. I actually did a little bit more than I was intending to do because I was kind of having some fun. And uh, yeah, so here's the layout. Basically, uh, this from here to here is all normal house like, uh, like this section. And then this from here to here is all normal house. And then right, no, normal, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, my lips just failed me there. Um, this right here is going to be our lovely, our lovely and wonderful tower that's going to go upwards. And so the tower's kind of offset on this uh, section right here. And I think that's going to look really cool because it's going to be kind of going up and then over and then kind of like the slope of the roof is going to be intersecting with it. And yeah, so if you don't understand what I'm saying, you'll see it shortly because I'm going to record it in this video eventually. So um, yeah, I did have one small encounter here with a creeper. Um, he blew this hole in the ground right here. The cool thing about me putting and filling up the ground underneath is the fact that the creeper didn't really do a whole lot of damage, honestly. Like the dirt is all messed up, but um, the damage didn't go very deep. So that's really nice. And yeah, so I'm really excited about this house and I need to go harvest some more um, spruce wood. Actually, I'm, I haven't really decided what I want to do as far as the um, the color of this house. I really haven't put much thought into it. I like this one quite a bit, how it has the darker spruce wood on its sides. So I might go that route. Um, I'm just kind of considering it, you know? There's also the route where we had the stripped oak wood, like on these houses. But I don't know. I'm not 100% sure 
what I'm going to do. I think I might like to make it a little bit different than, so like each house up here is unique, like I was saying. So I might go with regular oak wood, actually. It might be the way to go. So yeah, I'm going to have to do a little bit of harvestation, I think. So uh, I'm going to go harvest some stuff and start working on the upper portions of this. This area right here, I think is going to look really cool because it's going to just like one solid slanted roof. We're gonna have to do something to break it up. I might put like a stables over here. We have quite a bit of land over here, so I'm gonna do something um, to this build. And we're gonna have to build some giant trees also. We're gonna have to build a really big tree. Maybe we'll have like, yeah. I really wish that I had the patience to make like a really massive tree that goes all the way up to sky limit, but <laughs> that would be really funny. <laughs> I'd like to build that like right in the middle of the industrial area <laughs> over there on the island but i'm not gonna do that because <laughs> although that would be a hilarious prank it would just take so long uh yeah <laughs> you know this concrete farm is really 2018 several seconds later i'm still at it this is crazy well now that i'm a thousand years old i finally got enough co white concrete i think hold on a minute is this my dog man this dog has been sitting here for ages. Great, now this guy's gonna follow me around everywhere. Ha ha! <laughs> oh, hey, I guess having a dog pays off. And now we're putting in the concrete, putting in the concrete, putting in the concrete, yes. We put the concrete in, we put it in each space that is necessary, yes. This is how you do, yes, like this and like this. You know, I built this little entrance thingy thinking this would be a good idea. Um, it is a good idea, but it's just too tall, so I gotta tear it down, and I gotta tear it down a block. Uh, yeah, it still looks like poo. Like stinky doggy poo. Okay, I think I'm happy with it now. The funny thing is, is it really isn't that much different than it was before. Alright, now what I need to do is go ahead and fill up this tower. Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Yeah, okay, this house is starting to take shape. This is starting to be what I wanted. The itsy bitsy spider went up the housey house. Then came the hex and shot him in the face. Come here. Shot him in the... F Where? For real? You ruined my song! Shot him in the face. <laughs> Alright, I think it's time to go get that dark oak wood for the floors here. Definitely time. You know, it's getting really close to time to needing a dynamite-based tree farm on the server. So that's mine. If you're listening, which I know you are, I know you're watching this, it's time to make a dynamite-based tree farm. Can you get leaves with a dynamite-based tree farm? Like, could you blow up the, the, the tree and get the leaves? Huh. Just thought about that. For some reason, dark oak wood makes me think of chocolate. I want some chocolate. Oh, man. Do you see them? They're after me. Aha! Ha 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 ha! Take that and that and that. Ooh, where'd you come from? Oh man, he joined the battle quickly. All right, got you and I got you and I got you and you can take it and just take that and take that. Yes, and we are safely back at the house. La 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 la. Placing the ba la 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 la. All right, before I get a little bit too ahead of myself, we gotta light this place up because I've already killed like five creepers and 10 skeletons and 45 zombies and 678. All right, I've done all of the lighting I can do with the lanterns that I have. I really need to like make a bunch of these common resources that I use all the time because I, I, I just keep running out of stuff. It's like, why can't I just make a bunch of things and then have a whole bunch of them? I, I don't know. I don't know what my problem is. There is something that I noticed about this house that is, uh, well, it's a bit of a problem, really. And it's not the lighting. Mm, I like the floor a lot. Um, however, there's no roof. Hey, one thing that I did remember to make this time is some scaffolding. So that's going to help us out quite a bit. All right. Hey, it's starting to look like something. Pretty happy. Yeah, look at that. It's going to be a pretty cool, pretty cool build, I think. All right, so we got some spruce wood and here we go. We are filling in the roof. Okay, so I just logged in and 
I found this. There, in front of my new house, there's a, there's a, there's a thing. There's, there's this wall, and then there's like a little wagon, I guess. Yeah, it's a wagon. And some, some jungle leaves, and then some more, I don't know what this is. Uh, some barrels. Then there's... I, I, I don't know what that is. I think they're lamps. I mean, they're obviously lamps, but I've never seen lamps like that before. And then there's an archway here up to my new... Up to one of the houses that I built. Uh, I didn't put that there. <laughs> and then there's all these flowers. There's like a bazillion flowers in here. And the thing is, is like, I would say this is probably waffle stick, but it, it, it might not be waffle stick. Like this doesn't look like waffle stick style. And I know that Etz mine, I did whitelist somebody on the server, uh, one of Etz mine's friends, um, that wanted to join, but I didn't think that he was going to be active for a little while because of some stuff going on with him. But I mean, maybe this is waffle stick. It just doesn't kind of look like waffle sticks, like build style. Uh, I actually really like this. This is really cool. That's very detail-y. I like that. Whoa, 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 whoa! Where did that guy come from? Some person is building on my server and I'm about to blow up their crap with a creeper. That's not nice. Get out of here. Uh... This is actually a pretty cool build. So, I have two things to say to you people. Number one is the tower is done. Well, the the stone part of it, the stone part of this one's done too. I still need to do the kind of upper portion of the tower here, that uh, the spire thing, but we'll get that done in a minute. The other thing that I'd like to tell you people is I have discovered the culprit. And also this is brand new as well. I turned, I logged in and I thought I was facing the wrong direction. <laughs> and... Uh, so Waffle Stick has created this, which I like. It's very cool. It's a it's a wall that's going to go around. Apparently, at least this part of the uh, of the um, of the whatever this is, <laughs> and I like it. <laughs> it's very cool. I like his uh, design here with the with the fence gates. We don't have any fence gates, or uh, those are fence gates. Those are fence gates. Is this a fence gate? Speaking of detailer, I'm going to go ahead and add the detail of the roof there. And we need to detail these walls a little bit. Wow, that's making you dizzy, isn't it? Whoa, you're welcome. The spire's been built. I finished these gable ends, and I'm also adding a little bit of white wool into each one of these things. And I got this idea from Blue Nerd. Uh, he's a great little YouTuber. You should check him out. He's not a little YouTuber. He's a good size YouTuber, actually. Um, I think, and I'm not going to make this like an official claim, but I think that he may have gotten the idea to do white concrete and diorite from me and then added his own thing of the uh, white wool, which I think is really cool. Um, if that is true, that he actually, um, it, if that's true. But if, if it's not true, then I'm totally stealing his uh, white wool thing because it's, it really adds a lot, I think, of detail to the build and, and kind of, um, you know, makes it even look better even than the diorite with white concrete that uh, that I came up with a while ago. And oh boy, did we do some details. Look at this thing now. Did lots and lots and lots and lots of details. Okay, so on this part here, um, I did kind of the standard thing, except for I put some little uh, planters underneath here, uh, underneath each window. So it's just like a block of, uh, you know, it's a block of the, uh, the dirt and then uh, some of them have a, a trap door underneath them and surrounded by trap doors and some of them have a slab underneath them and surrounded by tra uh, trap doors like that. And then I did the uh, the rails, the fence gates there going vertically. And then I did some of these planter boxes three b blocks wide. I think I like that, except you can see the dirt texture on the side, which I don't love, but um, yeah. Maybe I could do like a full block there or something. I don't know, or maybe even like a stair block. Yeah, and then what I did is I stripped some of this oak wood I didn't do it on the back though. I need to do that still. Um, I stripped some of the oak wood to kind of give it a little bit more of a texture. I kind of didn't like how the spruce wood and the oak wood were like the same color almost. And then I did some dormers. So I did a dormer over that and right there and then two more there. And then um, I did uh, one there and then two here. 
And then on the towers, I did like one of those little dormery things there and there. And I changed them up a little bit. I put some trap doors on the sides. And I also put these, uh, the stair blocks facing this way like that. And I think that that looks a little bit, uh, well, I don't know if it looks better, but it's it's different than this, right? So it's kind of sets this build apart a little bit that the um, the way that the dormers on the towers are set up is a little bit different. And then, of course, um, we have uh, the um, the leaves and some flowers and stuff. I'd like to do some more leaves. And then also I was experimenting with putting around just some barrels and stuff just kind of around the outside of this build. And I think that that adds a lot of detail as well. And then over here, what I'm doing is I've got a layout for a bit of a, I think I'm gonna do a stable right there. Okay, on this little stables, I'm gonna try starting out with like a three tall here and then a four tall there, like two blocks away. So I got, and then these are like three blocks apart like that and then two and then three there. I'm gonna give this a shot and see if I like what I can make with it. Um, and then I'm probably going to do like a, probably a spruce roof with, the, um, probably stone around it. I might just do all spruce roof without the border. I'm backing up randomly and I don't know why. Okay. Here's the shape that I've got for the roof here. I think I like it. It's a little bit odd. Like I've got slabs here and then it goes into the, the stairs right there. Um, so it's, it's kind of different than what I usually do, which is kind of why I like it. Okay. So yeah. Yeah, it's good. I did most of the roof. I need to detail it a little bit, but it's pretty good. And then what I'm doing with the sides right here is I'm going to go ahead and build out these um, these walls made of these things. And I, I've never done that before uh, with the trap doors here. That's what they're called. Trap doors. They're called trap doors, X. That's right. Trap doors. Um, I've never done like walls with trap doors before as far as like an actual survival build, but I think it's going to work. And I think that if we do that, that kind of, I don't know, that kind of looks cool to me. Okay. So I figured out something we can do to make this work a little bit better. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a few trap doors on the back side of these ones like that. And maybe like this. And then what you can do is break out the front ones like this. Let's see. Yeah. Like that and like that, and like that, and like this. And then when you go around the front, it's gonna have a little bit more of a texture to it like that. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Maybe I overdid it a little bit, so maybe we need to put one back right here, like that. Now the problem is, is on this corner, like I can't put one, I guess I could put one here, huh? Um, I just have to be like careful because I put a few on this side right here for this panel and it kind of gives you like this little bit of a texture to it, which is kind of cool. And then also like leaving the door uh, open like that and kind of makes it look a little bit more horse stable-ish like that. And then of course we're going to do some more details along here and work on the roof and so on and so forth. But I think that, that works pretty well with these trap doors. All right. So I went ahead and did all of those with some of those um, trap doors that, like I was talking about. And I think this looks really good. I actually really very much like this. Um, I think that that added the missing bit of texture that this build needed. Um, I finished off some of the roof section here. So I basically put in some planks and slabs depending on what's necessary just to fill up this one section right here. So there's like a slab there, planks, 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 and then a slab. And then inside here, what I did is I created a structure um, of this oak wood. So it goes up right here. Uh, so basically there's a column like everywhere. There's a column there. Um, there's like two blocks away. There's a column. And then what I did is in between, I put some of these, uh, spruce wood planks there, spruce wood planks there. And then of course I did a little decorating on the floor here. Um, just some pods all and some, uh, some path blocks and stuff. And then I did a little bit of path work out here. It's not done because I need to add the pods all. And I think, yeah, I think just adding the pods all is going to be enough. Um, and then I need some more cobblestone and stuff to kind of complete the pathway. I also filled in this little sort of dent in the ground that was right here. And I wanted to make a little pond. Where'd my bucket go? You know what I really want is I want a couple of like ducks just floating in here. That's what I want. Hey, I know, I know I'm trying to win the award for the cringiest joke of the server award. I put the hay bales in here. That's what it needed. It looks really good. I like it very much. It's pretty much done. I need to do a little bit more of the uh, oak wood in here, but I'm out of oak wood and I'm tired of running over and getting it. Seriously, where is my tree farm? It's my build a tree farm. No, but like in all seriousness, that should be it's mine's punishment for making fun of my trees last episode. Well, until Ed's mine builds my tree farm, 
This is what I'm going to have to do. I'm just going to have to cut down a bunch of trees over here. I swear, literally every time I go past this tree, there's a skeleton. Like, literally every time. There's not been one time that I've ever gone past this tree, ever, that a skeleton has not attacked me. Not once. Okay, maybe one time. So the barn is done. I put some little barrels around it and a couple of little uh, whatever those things are. I really like the way this looks. I think it looks great. I also finished this pathway. So what I'd like to do is I'm thinking about building a fountain here. I know that's kind of cliche, put a little fountain in front of it. But I think that this area is just screaming at me. It's screaming at me and it says, Hex, build a fountain here. Can you hear it? If I put my ear up to it, can't seem to get my ear next to it because I have legs that don't bend and I can't do a push-up. Oh yeah, and I was completely like gonna put in the oak wood in here, and then I like totally forgot, and I was like, what's all this freaking oak wood doing in my inventory? I put in this little fountain, and I like it very much. I wanted something very simple, and this is simple. Well, after putting in the fountain, I went hog wild with the landscaping. I did a bunch of landscaping. I put a little bird bath thing right there. Um, we did some leaves around. I did some more leaves on the house. I did some bone meal around. I did put some of these little nether sprouts in. I put in a vineyard right here. Yeah, same kind of vineyard as over there, but uh, vineyardy over here. It looks like I missed a lantern. Why is there not a lantern? <laughs> here we go. Uh, yeah, so I went all the way around here and we did this right here. I also put the wall all the way around the pond. And we have some ducks swimming in the pond. That's right. I put two of these. Whoa, he's like laying, laying eggs into the water. What a smart duck. Anyway, this is a duck right here. <laughs> this is a duck. And uh, basically they're on leads and attached to just a couple of fence posts under here. Whoa, I'm using um, scout mode. That's why I'm like... Dang, that actually looks pretty cool. Anyhow, is that like our mine? Okay, totally distracted. Yes, shiny object. And then, yeah, I built this, uh, um, basically a wall all the way around this area right here. And I'm thinking this looks pretty good. The last thing that I want to do on this build, I need a couple trees. I need a couple trees. Definitely need a couple trees. I think, I'm thinking about putting a tree so that its center is actually right here on this thing that Waffle Stick built. It's going to be like a perfect spot for a nice big tree. And then also, um, I want to put one or two over here. So probably one like right in that area and then one near the pond somewhere. Uh, I'm going to do that as a time lapse because I got replay mod working again. Yay! Replay mod! Yay!
Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse. Tell you what, it sure takes a lot of effort to do it with the shaders. I had to download the fabric mod, and I had to do all this crazy stuff and like make a multi Minecraft loader thingy. It was a it was a mess. But anyways, I really love these trees. I love this tree, and I love the one in the front. This thing here, though, despite all of my effort and I keep falling in this river, man. <laughs> Despite all of my effort, uh, that's why I said it's still not big enough. He still didn't like it. So I think that I'm in the future not going to pay attention to S mine, S mine's uh, opinions on trees. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I don't really like it. I don't really like this tree at all. It's too round or something. I don't know. I tried to make like a big old tree and it just didn't quite turn out right. It kind of looks like a giant blob of green leaves um, in the middle of this area. But I'm going to leave it. And the reason I'm going to leave it is just because I don't want to tear it down. And because, I mean, it does add things, especially when you're not up high looking at it. Like this looks really cool. It looks cool from underneath. That's for sure. Um, this tree right here got high praise from Waffle Stick. He said that this was a great tree. And so this one's definitely staying. And I really like how I did the lanterns underneath it. You probably couldn't see those in the time lapse until the very, very end. But um, yeah, I really like those. I think it looks good. Well, guys and gals, that's all we have time for today. If you like this, do leave a like and share and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. That helps me out quite a bit. But more importantly, I hope you're having an amazing, awesome, beautiful day. And God bless.